We're gonna paint the sunset clouds. First, I'm gonna just draw the big composition, the big shape. So this is, will be the cloud in this area. I don't have to draw really detail because I might change it as, as I'm painting. Okay, this is the cloud. And uh, leave a little gap over here and then to the ocean. I think down here is the ocean. And I'm gonna carefully circle the space for the sun. I'm gonna move the sun a little bit to the left. Not really big, right here. So I can leave this space uh, to be white. Okay, I'm gonna leave that sun like here, right there. And some space over here with the really light uh, for the yellow, white, and yellow colors. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna first work in this sky. This sky is gonna be start from the blue color and coming down gradually, changing the colors called gradient color, uh, uh, gradient wash, starting from one color and when it's wet and changing, changing to different colors. So I'm not gonna leave this cloud space to be white. I'm gonna paint it over. I'm gonna just take this present blue directly from the color well and just start it right here. This color looks like a little warmer, so I'm gonna tap on it, get a little red like this. And coming down a little bit, I think I'm gonna make it a little darker because the watercolor after it dry, it always look lighter. So I'm gonna change that a little bit and then get them, get a little bit uh, yellow. Yeah, get a little yellow and get a little red into this color and mix a little bit blue. I'm gonna change the color. Look a little bit dirty green and keep coming down and now get more and more orange, now which is yellow and the red, like this color, coming down. Just keep looking at what color is it, it's there, right? Um, you're only thinking about the three colors. That's all you need to think about. Okay, now I'm gonna get a little bit more red and a little more yellow coming down at the bottom. Paint it as you go. Now coming down over here, get a little bit dangerous because this is the white cloud. So I'm not gonna give too much of uh, color into it. I probably gonna just leave the color there. Now I'm gonna come in into this color, just the red. Okay, watch. And even more red. Yeah, and over here, a little red. If I come closer, get a little bit more yellow when you're close to the sun because the heat. Okay. Like that, I'm gonna leave that too. So now I'm gonna get even more yellow, get close to. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna paint it around the sun. Like that. So this is the base color. Leave the cloud over there. Like this, so this is the base color. Now what I wanna do, quickly, I'm going to leave up some space. I want to leave this, return it to be light, even white. Because that is what I want to supposed to be. Very light space. I'm gonna move the color and lift up the color. Just dry the brush. Like this. Okay, good. I'm gonna shorten this shape a little shorter. And also at the same time, I'm going to clean the space if 
for the sun. Okay. While up here it start getting drying, drying and drier. Okay, now here we go. That's good. Now I'm gonna lift up this little bit excess color. Otherwise, those color may coming back to uh, uh, this space. That's just good. Now, what I want to do now, that's getting a little drier and drier now. Over here, I'm going to lift up a little space. I'm going to prepare to put some orange color in this space here. So, lifting the color for those clouds. Right? I'm going to leave it sit first because this color is almost like a lighter than the sky color. In that case, you have to lift up the color first before you add the different colors. Otherwise, the colors is going to get darker if you put another color on the top. Whatever color that you're going to put in there is still going to look darker. Okay, make sure that here is dry enough. Just dry it with the two fingers. You can change the shape however you want. You don't have to be look like exactly the shape over there. Over here, I also want to leave a couple line. And I can fill in the yellow color later. And that's really beautiful line. Couple line over there. Like that. Okay, good. On the edge over here, on the cloud, I'm going to start also clean a little bit lighter. Now I'll come back over here to this cloud. On the edge over here, also make it a little bit lighter. Just lift up the color. Now, I think this is pretty good. Now, what I want to do now, I'm going to start putting a little darker color. And like I say, a little blue color, we change the color. Uh, let's start working on to it. it. It may be changed uh, as we are working. The idea may be, the opportunity may be present differently. So what I want to do, uh, first I'm going to look at the edge. It's a little kind of warm brown color. So I'm going to take a little blue. Right, you know how to mix the brown colors. So now I want to do up here. Oh, a little bit more red. Okay, something like that. And now I have a little bit more orange color. I want to get just the red and the yellow color really quickly. A little bit more warm. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna change that to the smaller brush. Get a little yellow color. Here we go. I'm gonna let's see. Make that too. And I'm gonna at the same time put a little bit orange color into the space here. You see that? That is just a little light color into the space here. Maybe not even that dark, just make it a little lighter. Now I'm going to continue coming down over here. I have some orange color here too. A little bit on this side, like this. Now what I want to do, I'm going to start making a little, um, a little bit warm color in the middle over here. I can see that. It looks like a little translucent, the light going through. So I'm going to make sure I have that color there. But before I'm going into get the blue color in, like kind of purplish colors. I'm gonna get this color and I get the winter blue. And this color, 
little bit red a little bit more blue like this here we go I'm gonna paint it do you see that color in the middle it looks a little bit more of blue color you have to make the decision really quick and and leave that the color looks like it a little see-through in the middle over here keep it a little warm keep something dynamic like that now I'm gonna coming down over here this blue color coming down over here the blue and then coming coming to this side that a little bit blue color going through like this that's interesting and going through over here like that so far and now I'm gonna leave this area a little bit lighter blue later so I'm gonna going through uh, first I'm gonna get lots of red color when it close to the Sun the clouds always look very very warm doesn't matter is in the morning or evening so get that even more red colors coming through over here okay now we're putting the color everywhere. That's the first one. Okay, like that. And a little bit blue coming up here. A little bit away from the sun now. There, here we go. Now, a little blue, a little red now coming. Okay. And yeah, let's see. When it's still wet, I'm going to just take a little red color for a small piece of cloud underneath close to the sun. So, right here. Okay, even look a little bit lighter. So, be careful. You want some space, you want to leave it. Don't want to um, put other color that's not supposed to be there, right? So, I'm going to the little blue colors and use the middle of the brush to make it look lighter so almost the middle of the brush almost like a natural blender okay under here I'm gonna have a little bit more blue that's a little bit away from the Sun now here so I'm gonna have a little bit more blue even darker now that's good over here we're gonna give a little bit uh, blue purple colors up here like this but the edge is still see quite warm so I'm gonna take this color and just put in the edge the little warmer color so you have to make this decision and the decision sometimes requires you to make it really quick um, so that's why I'm asking you to participate in the brainstorming section it's just think about that is that how we're gonna do that I'm just gonna make this a little bit lighter so just with the water just slide in here that's nice now what I want to do and the top over here have a little blue color with a kind of warm purple colors right I'm gonna have a little bit kind of dry brush like that. that's good now I'm gonna come back to do a little lighter uh, blue colors I'm gonna just put the blue color here but I don't think this colors is that uh, is that bright but however because we already have the right we already have the red color underneath so when we mix with on top of that the color is not going to be so bright so now I want it a little bit clear so I'm going to just use the lifting up to clear a little bit between the edge like that I'm going to keep going to that I want to get this blue color I want to keep going into here so you can see the layers uh, 
objects. Okay, some something a little bit darker, something a little bit lighter, and something close, something a little bit far away, something at the front, something behind. Okay, that's good. So this cloud in front of the other cloud. So I'm gonna have a little bit warm color in here, like that. Have a little bit softer, like that. Fill in this little gap. Now at the edge, I'm going to use a very light red color right here on the edge. So seeing how the sun affecting at the edge of the cloud, like that. Okay, this is good. Uh, and I'm going to keep coming down uh, to the lower part. And But before we do that, I want to that move this area. I'm going to change this color a bit. I want this a little bit this blue portion of the cloud is moving up here. So I'm going to clear the red color away. This is a little dangerous to do this because you now create new texture. But I'm going to try it. Get just the blue colors. Uh, this color, wet color, it may push the other color away. That could be fine. You know, we never can tell how the cloud looks like. Okay, every cloud looks a little bit different. So I'm gonna see how this is gonna turn out. I think this probably a little bit too, uh, too cold. So I'm gonna make that add a little red color in here, like this. So the cloud has three-dimensional effect. Now we're coming down at the bottom over here. Now we're gonna just get us the red color underneath. Okay, it's horizontal and moving it all the way coming through here. Here we go, like this. A little red underneath. Okay, now we already have the base colors, pretty good, the base color. Now what I want to do now, we just give a little bit like a gray cloud. So get this blue color. It will look. Okay, now I'm gonna be having this going through like this. So this is evening scene. And when you're closer, look a little bit darker, a little bit more contrast. Let's take a look. Okay, good. Now that's good. And I give it a little bit lighter uh, shape underneath, right here. Like that may be a little bit too much contrast. You can soften it. Now I come closer, I'm gonna get a little bit red color now, closer to the sun. And I'm gonna get a little bit this cloud. Now get a little bit red. Like this. And on the other side, have the red cloud too. Just the red. Right here. A little bit over here too. Okay, that's good. Now we're gonna coming down to the bottom. The bottom is the ocean. So I'm gonna paint it from the area of the sun and then spread it to the other side a little, little bit colder. So I'm gonna get the red color, just the red color. Yeah, just the red color. Like this. Going through. I think have a little bit yellow color in the middle. Let's just put a little yellow color in here. Okay. And a little bit darker on the edge. Just tap on it because the area is still wet. So it would merge together. Now on the other side, I'm gonna start changing the colors to be a little bit purple. So get all the blue colors. Oh, here we go. Star coming to this side. Okay. 
now a little bit darker purple colors right here the transition okay good like this good all right now on the other side first i'm going to add this dark purple color first and then put the blue colors on the top a little bit darker with the with the blue colors now i'm going to put all the blue colors this is the blue colors maybe too bright so we're going to see And then this color going in here. Maybe lift up the color too, like this. Lift up the color too, over here. And a little light coming to here. And it's going to smooth after it drive. Okay, like that. Okay, now it's the last thing we're gonna do. We're gonna put, first we're gonna soften. Uh, the areas next to the sun a little bit lighter right here gonna come in here like this now at the same time we're going to just use lifting up colors create those feeling of the sun ray just this And up here, we're gonna glaze a little bit yellow color into that space. So a little bit yellow color right here. And when you have the yellow color, it always look brighter. Like that. Leave a little white. Yes. Now basically, the first round of the painting is already done. Now I'm going to see how we are going to need to change anything to as the final touch. So what we're going to do, I think this cloud need a little warmer color in the middle. So I'm going to get just a little bit red over here, but use a bigger brush. Now it's not about detail, it's about adjusting the colors. And this area, a little bit darker too. And coming down over here, also have a little bit red color, so you can have the feeling of uh, actually the the cloud is not that thick. It actually see through the color. And now, what I want to do, I will also have a little darker blue on this side, and then the painting is pretty much there. I want to take a little bit winter blue. I'm gonna put it right there. So also separate this cloud with the cloud at the front. So I'm gonna make it even darker. Even darker. Okay, like this, good. Okay, okay good, separate it. A little bit over here with this color. Okay, now I'm gonna clean my brush. Now I'm gonna have it join the existing color. Tap, tap, and the color would merge together. I can have it softly connected to the existing colors. So I get a feeling of there's the front and back cloud how they merge together. And over here, a little bit softer. And a couple darker purple color underneath over here. That, a little bit over here too. A little more blue. that I think 
and now this already drives so I can come back over here see give a little bit yellow color around so remove the texture and just have it connect it and I have the yellow color get down over here too so now have it softly like this And now our experiment is completed.